don't know. Admiral, well, uh, well, the thing is, like, making shorts. Here's here's something that people yeah. don't understand. Yeah. Um, I, I I feel like people maybe don't really get is that like we catch a lot of flack for like moving from animation to uh to let's playing or whatever you mm -hmm, know however mm -hmm. that is like selling out or <laughs> that whole that whole game that whole fucking rabbit hole yeah but the thing is like the shorts that we were making were like to it yeah. was for like finance like obviously we we did it because we enjoyed animating but mm -hmm. like it's not like we were making fucking art we were making fucking video game parodies <laughs> like it's it's it, yeah, that's we were truth, doing that because that's the stuff that that kept us eating and paying rent. It's weird when you say that because like I remember we had the animation panel at Magfest and it was like, what do I, what can I do to get noticed? And like I remember that I had a few friends who were just like, you know, I just want to do, I just want to do what like you know like like Zach and Chris do, and they like make an original series, and that's how they get popular. I'm like, gonna stop you there. Yeah. Uh, Zach and Chris both admit, and during Magfest panels that. They originally did satire to try and draw in an audience, and yeah, well, I think that's smart. I mean, that's you how you do it, dude. You think about there's a lot of bands. I can't think of them. Maybe Oasis. A lot of bands started as cover bands. Yeah, the, the hardest thing it's to a do. Weird thing to think about. The hardest thing to do for a creator or an artist or whatever yeah. is to find an audience. Yeah, and you know you can you can make the most fucking awesome creative shit you, you've ever seen, and anybody who would see it would their eyes would fucking blow out of their head. But if there's a lot of that on Vimeo. If there's no Fucking hook, or if there's no audience, if there's you, nobody's gonna watch it, like that's that's it. In a if it doesn't have like a shareability to it, you know, and it's like a lot of art doesn't have a shareability to no. it. So we we have a fan base and are afforded these opportunities because we did all that stuff for years. We did the fucking parodies yeah. on the on, on the YouTubes and whatnot, and yeah. and people and it, and people give you a hard time about yeah, it. But the it's ironic like, thing is yeah. that we got shit for doing those back then. And now we're getting <laughs> shit for selling out and not being the artists that we once were, and we were never fucking artists. Yeah. Like, we we did we did plenty of art for ourselves, but that wasn't yeah. the stuff that got popular, and that's not the stuff that you know about. That's uh, the stuff that we kept to ourselves, or we showed to our friends, or yeah. we put out there and nobody fucking saw. Oh, this is a real. This is like a real therapeutic venting. <laughs> I, I, I'm liking this. I think everyone's liking this. Let's keep going. Well, the the point the point I'm trying to make is the things that we're doing now yeah. are actually like the art that we've always wanted to make. Yeah, it's, I think and the, I, these long form cartoons. I think that what we've gone through in the past ten years has afforded us that opportunity. And Absolutely. I think that's really exciting to think about. It's the same story for everybody. Yeah. If you fucking look at John Blow, yeah, he worked this like shitty consulting job for fucking EA and shit for like years really and saved up his money to make braid like it, oh, it, it yeah, didn't just fine. fucking come out of thin air like he you have to you you have to fucking pay your dues and do shit that isn't fucking art mm -hmm. like you can't be a starving artist and then immediately succeed you know like it yeah it's a rough you have to fucking play the deal. game sometimes yeah and that's that's just how it works man